Welcome to day number two, 36 of the 180 Fit Mindset Course. And this course enables you to evaluate your life and your goals and formulate a successful plan for achieving those goals. Um, in order to get the most, of course, from this course, it's a free here on YouTube. Take advantage of everything that's provided. I have free resources that go along with the day's lessons um, in the show notes. So make sure you do that. Um, those activities will guide you to your success. So be sure to check them out. Um, you'll find articles, affirmations, worksheets, and as well as um, the key lesson from today. So handouts for your journey. Um, now let's go ahead and dive into day number two. And thinking your way to success is what we're going to look at today. So success begins with our mindset. And to build the most effective mindset, it's important to understand what success means to you, right? So you've completed the process of designing your own definition of success. That was yesterday. You should have that too with you today. Let's move forward with training your mind to help you actually reach that success. So we'll start with affirmations and don't judge too quickly. Affirmations can be powerful um, tool to help to keep your mind focused on success. Affirmations can be used to keep your thoughts positive and increase your persistence. Do you often envision yourself achieving great things and then, you know, follow up with a negative thought process though? Do you talk to yourself out, uh, talk yourself out of your dreams even before you begin to pursue them? If so, you need to change the way you think and you're not alone. When you change the, your thought process um, to success thinking, you truly can change your life. Positive thoughts enable us to reach out and grasp the success we seek. And so if we haven't met before real quick, my name is Jen Plykin, your holistic empowerment coach, changing from places stuck to authentic thriving through personal training, group fitness, nutrition coaching, and life empowerment mindset. Um, I just got a lot of attraction and coaching. Like, subscribe, follow so you get alert anytime I can give you bring relevant information. So wanting to succeed and being able to envision your success is a great place to start. When you can actually do this, you're giving yourself permission to change your life, attain your goals, and be a success, um, especially on the fit journey. So there will be days when it's more difficult to think positive, okay? And success, and then in a success, success affirming way. During these times, you can turn to the useful tool called affirmations. But I use them every day, whether or not I'm having a good day or not. Affirmations have helped a lot of people. The science behind them, many of these science, turn into positive thinking, propelling them toward their goals, propelling them toward their fitness goals in an exciting way. Affirmations for success can help you change the way you think. That's story you tell yourself about anything and everything. If you're honest with yourself, you may find that much of your inner dialogue about how you feel about yourself and even the way you carry yourself are negative. And this destructive thinking sets you up to fail or causes you to give up before you ever really get started. And, you know, as with anything new, creating a success mindset will take a practice, okay? And, um, to, and to get the best results, it really takes some time. But the good news is you can get all the practice you need with the help of the success affirmations. And I'm going to give you once, and you're going to help know how to create your own by the end of this. So affirmations, okay? So let's, let's boil down affirmations. The positive statements that activate your mind to change your life one thought at a time. They enable you to accomplish the things you wish to achieve. So affirmations work because each word we speak has power, Okay. They evoke emotions. They rewire our brain. They work because they allow you to program or reprogram your thought process. And there's, like I said, there's science behind this. Replacing the negative thoughts with positive ones. We're creatures of habit. We have that subconscious mind. For example, if you find yourself telling yourself what you can't do, you can replace these negative thoughts with an affirmation for success. Such as, I am capable of succeeding without feeling overwhelmed or unfulfilled. If that statement doesn't maybe jive with you, there are many affirmations for um, they could change that into. So I am worthy of great success. All you need to do is want to feel this way, and then every time you say these statements aloud, you reaffirm them to your subconscious. So is it is it really this easy? I'm sure is what you're asking right now. Many of the most successful people in the world are much different than you. 
The key characteristic that sets them apart, though, is that they have a success mindset. It seems too simple to be true, but when you talk to people who've experienced success, you'll find that they use statements like these to drive them towards their goals and away from negativity. Their inner dialogue is one of success and achievement. I used to have a horrible inner dialogue. If success comes naturally, came naturally to all of us, would we would we all be successful? Unfortunately, in this day and time, many people prefer to focus on the negative, right, rather than the embrace the embrace success in the positive. With affirmations, you can overcome your limiting negative thoughts and make it second nature for you to choose a positive mindset. So success can really be yours as long as you believe and reaffirm your positive thoughts consistently and re restructure whatever negative is. So affirmation is probably the stepping stones, you know, to our next topic we're going into tomorrow, which is a positive attitude that enhances our success. So everything becomes a little easier when you're sporting a positive attitude. Um, so let's talk about reprogramming our subconscious mind because I want to give you the step-by-step -step guide and formula that I have. So your subconscious mind has immense power in controlling your life experiences from the types of food you eat to the actions you take or don't take each day, the level of income you earn, and even how you react in stressful situations, okay? Every bit of it is guided by your subconscious beliefs and interpretations. It's that simple. In short, your subconscious mind is like automatic pilot feature on an airplane. It has been pre-programmed to follow a specific route and you, the plane, cannot deviate from that route unless you change the directions programmed into it first, okay? So what's the subconscious mind? The subconscious mind is the part of your mind that operates below your normal level of waking consciousness. Right now, you're primarily using your conscious mind to listen to this, okay, and absorb the meaning. But beneath that mental focus, your subconscious mind is busily working behind the scenes, okay, and you're back there, um, absorbing or rejecting information based on existing perception you have in your world around you. So this existing perception began forming when you were actually a tiny infant. With every experience you've had, your subconscious mind soaked in that information like a sponge. We rejected nothing while we were young because we didn't have any pre-existing beliefs to contradict what it perceived. It simply accepted that all the information you received during your early childhood was true. And you can probably see why this becomes a problem later on in life. Every time someone called you stupid, worthless, slow, lazy, fat, or worse, your subconscious mind just stored that information away for reference, okay? And you may also have received messages about your potential in life or limitations you'll face based on your physical abilities, skin color, sex, economic status, etc. By the time you're seven or eight years old, you already had a solid foundation of belief based on all that programming from people in your life, television shows you watch, and other environmental factors and influences. How does this you know, old programming, though, affect you now? Now that you're an adult, okay, you may think that you can just simply disregard any of the hurtful or untrue messages you absorb during your early life, but it's not quite that simple. Remember that all this information is stored below your level of consciousness, you know, and conscious awareness. So the only time you become aware of it is when you're, it limits your progress in creating a balanced, successful, and productive life. Have you ever tried to achieve a goal and kept sabotaging yourself every turn? You know, maddening, isn't it? What happens? It's important to know that it's not necessarily your fault. You're not defective or doomed to fail no matter what you do. You know, if you fail, weight loss is not, it's not because you're failing at weight loss. It's because you have some old program messages that conflict with the new conditions you want to create. 
this is excellent news because it means you can actually achieve just about anything if you first take the time to reprogram your subconscious mind. The programming is still going on. So before we dive into how to reprogram your subconscious, it's important to know that their programming is still continuing to this day. So with every experience you have, you draw certain conclusions about it and store away another message that will guide your future actions. And for example, what kind of message do you think would be stored if you were rejected by someone you cared about? Your subconscious mind, that clever detective, would immediately go hunting, can't you just picture them, through your memories and find examples of, aha, rejection. You know, like that time your best friend dumped you to hang out with that more popular crowd. And draw a conclusion that you're somehow unworthy or unlovable and deserve to be rejected. Now, here's the interesting thing. If you have an experience that conflicts with the already established belief, your subconscious mind will either reject it or reframe it. So it goes along with your existing view of reality. Here's another example. Let's say you have an underlying belief that you're unattractive, fat, ugly, whatever, and an attractive person expresses an interest in getting to know you better. Most likely, the first thing you're going to think is that it must be a joke or a cruel trick. You will believe that this person could find you attractive because you already believe that you're unattractive. Beneath the surface of your conscious awareness, your subconscious mind is screaming, no way, this person is way too attractive to be interested in me. Something isn't right here. Um, then you'll either reject that person, okay, before they can reject you, or, uh, or otherwise do something to sabotage what could have been a great relationship. It is a we sabotage things. The same thing happens when you keep failing at achieving your goals like weight loss. Eventually, you start to believe that you aren't capable of succeeding. You come to expect failure and end up doing just that over and over and over again. You can probably imagine many other situations in your life where you, your subconscious mind limits you. But reprogramming it is a simple matter if you know how to implement and do it correctly. And that's what we're going to go over. So how to reprogram your subconscious mind. There are many different ways to overwrite the limiting, demand, um, damaging messages that are stored in our subconscious mind. Um, you know, so you can work on simultaneously with all of them if you wanted to. But it's probably better if you pick just one. Uh, or two of the methods to start, you want to give them your full attention rather than skipping around and diluting your efforts. So I'm going to go through all of them, but really there's just, we're going to do one. So remember that you can always incorporate more than one technique once you become comfortable and familiar with the other. So we're going to look at affirmation state, but I want to go through the other ones so you have that power and information. So um, you know, look at your influences. Have you ever considered the effect of your environment on your subconscious mind? <laughs> Remember that your subconscious mind is absorbing information constantly and drawing conclusions and forming beliefs based on that information. So if your daily environment is filled with negativity, strife, imagine what kind of messages are being absorbed into your mind. Consider strictly limiting the negativity and toxic people and toxic environments you're exposed to from this moment on. It makes a big difference. Avoid watching news unless you absolutely must. I don't watch the news. I'm just fine. And avoid spending too much time with toxic people. I had to cut out all my toxic people. It made a big difference. Instead, seek out positive information to read and watch. Watch more YouTube videos. And spend so more of your time with your positive and successful people that you want to be like. You know, over time, you'll find that more positive messages are actually being absorbed into your mind. And this will alter the way you see yourself as well as that law of attraction, right? It's going to come to you. So visualization is the next one. And this goes really good with affirmation. So your subconscious mind responds well to pictures. And visualization is a great 
way to reprogram your mind. Positive and, you know, empowering images. Try spending, you know, five to ten minutes a day visualizing positive scenes that feature you and your life experiences. So here are some things you may wish to see yourself evolving, enjoying, you know. Plenty of maybe money, right? Fulfilling relationships. Passionate work, a slender fit body, a beautiful home, an expensive car, great vacations, an impact, you know, anything you wish to draw your life on. As you do this consistently, you end up redrawing the negative pictures stored from your past experiences. Maybe you're poor as a child, right? You know, there's fears, there's worries, and there's doubts. To boost the power of visualization on even further, be sure to emit strong, positive emotions. And when we tie emotions to it, it enhances it, okay? With those pictures, these wonderful things in your mind, right? Allow feelings of love, joy, gratitude, and peace to flow through you as you, as if you were truly having these experiences. Your mind doesn't know the difference between what you're seeing and thinking and reality so your subconscious mind will actually absorb the messages as if they were real and this is true beauty of visualization the power to bypass limiting messages and focus on pleasing images all of which are being absorbed right into your subconscious mind as if they were really happening to re be replayed later okay affirmations this is what we're doing today affirmations are another effective way to install positive messages into your subconsciousness and they work best if you follow a few simple rules so we need you to go over these rules one word them in the present tense say i am confident and successful rather than i will be confident and successful i because focusing on the future on a future condition or experience does not compute with your subconscious mind remember wants to live in the reality now it, it only knows this present moment two call up the corresponding feelings once again attach that feeling to it say i am wealthy while feeling poor only sends co conflicting messages right to your subconscious mind so whatever works for you saying the time you know, at the time focus on the feeling and the way to do this is maybe not to really focus on um, affirmations that are just a step above where you are, okay? So three, repeat, 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 repeat. Affirmations don't work unless you say them just, you know, more than once or twice. We said them many times every day and preferably out loud, okay, for best results. The good thing about this is that you can say them, you know, mentally if you need to while you're doing almost any activity so they can fit into seamlessly with your normal routine, but really you're gonna get the most bang for your better way when you say them out loud. Brain, okay, let's look at our brain your beats. So another popular method is to use audio recording um, that deliberately alter the frequency of your brain waves. And it may sound like something out of science fiction or sci-fi movie, but reports from people who tried these audio programs are overwhelmingly positive. Um, so I can't deny the evidence out there. Your brain wave falls into a specific frequency depending upon what you're doing at any given time. If you have watched like some horoscope readings, those kind of things, a lot of times they end with that. So when you engage in motor functions, right? Um, when you're fully conscious and actively concentrating, and these are, you know, the alpha, when you're relaxed and theta, when you're drowsy or lightly sleeping, delta, when you're a deep, in deep sleep, um, binaural beats um, result when two tones are played at differing frequency, triggering your brain waves to follow a different pattern, okay? For example, if you wanted to shift from stress to relax, listen to an audio that triggers that alpha state. These audio programs can help you reprogram your subconscious mind by creating a more receptive forum for installing positive messages. Research has shown that our subconscious minds are more receptive to new information when we're very relaxed, such as in the alpha or the theta states. Um, using brain, you know, you know, audio programs along with the affirmations or visualization can actually be a powerful combination if you want to combine those because your subconscious mind lets down its defenses. If you combine all three of those, you can do them at the same time and more easily absorbs any messages you wish to program. Simply relax and focus on the positive images as you're saying those affirmations. Another one that's common is, you know, of course, hypnops, hip, you know, hypnosis, um, which is just a way to actually um, go through and uh, alter the frequencies of the brain waves. Um, 
through, you know, it actually gradually will talk you into a more relaxed and receptive state and deliver, delivers those empowering positive messages to your subconscious mind through that. So, you know, you can do it by yourself. Um, it's another popular option. You simply use pre-recorded audio programs instead of a live one a session. Some people even record their own own audio files um then they hear their own voice reciting positive affirmations but really it's kind of similar to like if you put the right kind of mute right uh, alpha theta and your visualization and your affirmation it's kind of like all that working together so one of the more challenging aspects of reprogramming your subconscious uh, mind is that you can't peek inside and see what's still there that might need to be changed, right? So instead, you'll have to develop a strong sense of self-awareness, and this is key. So you can catch yourself, your self-sabotaging behavior before it gets out of hand, even so there are still some clear signs of progress that most everyone can recognize. And I think this is key to know. So one, you begin feeling stronger, more confident, and happier even though nothing really in your outer experience has changed. Two, you find yourself being more willing to take risks and face challenge and face challenges. Three, your dreams and goals don't seem overwhelming anymore. Just exciting. Four, you start feeling a deeper sense of inner peace, as if inner conflicts are dissolving. Because we know we know we're in torpor with ourselves. Five, you start receiving more opportunities to expand and grow in every area of your life. Um, yes, we can subconsciously block these, believe it or not. So in short, you'll know when changes are taking place in your subconscious mind because you'll notice both inner and outer changes that tell you so. Um, the evidence is usually undeniable, honestly. You know, consistent, persistent reinforcement, okay? Okay. It's important to give this reprogramming process time to work. Um, don't expect to see immediate changes. Occasionally that can happen. I mean, you might see some, some small things, but often it takes some time and don't, don't, don't be discouraged by that. Be very consistent and persistent with whatever methods you choose. I'm going to encourage you to do the affirmations because that's where we're going. So I'm more positive messages in your subconscious mind. I've done this. Like it's made a difference to me. As soon as changes start to become apparent, you feel motivated to keep going. But until that happens, I need you to just trust me, okay? This is the power of the daily. This has to be a daily thing. So how do we write our own affirmations? And, you know, and I think this is, since we're going to be writing our own, let's talk about, you know, they have to, uh, they have the strong ability to, you know, lift your experience, get through the hard times, right? Um, you know, they're, you know, they are so powerful in weight loss and so powerful in keeping our positive attitude about life and believing that we can get there. And so positive sayings, you know, if we formulate them ourselves, takes it to up another level. So right on affirmations makes them personal to us, which can then help us get through our own individual situations. I can give you some, but it's more powerful if you write them, okay? When you start writing your own affirmations, keep these tips in mind. And you, some of them are repetitive from before, but stick with me. Make them personal, okay? It's worth repeating. It's important to remember use I in them. They are personal to you after all, okay? Example. I'm having, um, I, I'm having an exceptional day today. Um, two, use the present tense. Affirmations are built in order to change our feelings. Now, I mean, subconscious only lives in the now, which is why you want to stay positive and strong in this moment. When you use the past tense, you get, you know, um, what happens? Where do we go? There's, do we lose our hope? Do we start reflecting? The present tense Helps us feel the difference right now. And plus, that's where our subconscious lives, right? So I am feeling relaxed. I am productive. Get started, you know, on these tips for today's lesson. So use the power of affirmations to shift your mind towards success. You know, you know, and and be down to earth with these as well. That means you have to use your own style and not make your affirmations too formal or wishy-washy. There's no, like, way you have to, like, say things, okay? You want to capture your own voice. A bad example is, presently, I feel the urge to enjoy my existence. <laughs> Good example is, I enjoy my life. Be short. Affirmations are meant to be short, okay? Simple and sweet and to the point. Stay on target and make your affirmations one-liner, okay? If too wordy, 
you know, try breaking up into a few affirmations. The trick is to stick with one simple idea at a time. Um, so example, I am in perfect health. Okay. Make it positive. Affirmations are positive statements. So avoid negative words like not, um, you're using affirmations to make a life improvement, right? And positive statement. Motivate you to make this improvement so we can't use that negative. Example, I am at peace with my mind. Okay? Six, make it believable. You don't want your affirmations to be sound like something out of this world. Okay? If it's not believable to you, you won't take it seriously. In other words, subconscious mind. You know, it will just dismiss it. So an example is... I am choosing to be happy today, okay? Believe in the power of affirmations. Um, you know, when you say your affirmations, believe them to be true. Affirmations are truly powerful. Since, you know, since it's a set of words you long to believe. And when you tell yourself it, tell yourself them, you will start believing them. Affirmations alone have been known to help people, you know, cure them from addictions. Women even use them during childbirth to help them stay calm and collected um, during natural delivery. You know, set your eyes on a goal. And we're going to write some affirmations to get ourselves there today. So write them down, okay? Practice always makes perfect. Write down the affirmations you're wanting to incorporate in your life then go over the list and make sure that you want that information and that follows the rules i went over today you'll have the guide download the guide today once you start using affirmations and feel the difference you know it'll be powerful say the affirmations to yourself daily daily take deep breaths and keep your eyes on the goal okay also if maybe tweak your affirmations these positive sayings aren't written in stone okay they're not the ten commandments so as you change your affirmations might change as well I mean, if something's not working for you, change it. It's best to keep your affirmations in a place where you can see them. Um, I also I take a picture of them so they're always on my phone. You can simply keep a list pocket. You can post them around the house. I have, I have them in my bathroom. I have them on my walls. Paste them, you know, uh, maybe on like, your computer, wherever, fridge, wherever. You, if you're trying to lose weight, fridge is a great one, okay? Um, that's key. Um, you know, affirmations can truly make all the difference in reaching your goals. Um, let's give this a try today. Just enjoy the benefits of these. So, um, yesterday, you um, wrote, I had five questions for you. And from that, you put down kind of where you are and you evaluated those questions compared to where you want to be. And so, today, I want you to take each one of those areas and write an affirmation for each one based on where you would like to be. If, if, if your life is not like you would like to be in those areas, the best way to do so your passion, what's your passion? I, you know, today I choose to live by my passion, you know. Today I choose to make time for the things that matter to me, you know. Um, today I choose to make time for my family and be present, you know, your career. What is your career? Maybe if you don't like your career today, I am, maybe today I am, you know, focused on giving my best to my job and, and so that I can you know, move up the ladder. Today, I am, you know, think about your different things. Um, you know, there's so many different ways you can put affirmations in. And I don't want to give you too many ideas because I want to tweak what you would do. Um, you know, if you struggle, you can I'll have some examples, but you can also look some up online if you need to just make sure it's a credible source. Um, but I'll have a guide for you, but I really encourage you for each one, make it your own. Um, you know, you know, your home, maybe like for me, I'm simplifying, um, you know, I am content and happy with, you know, a, you know, simplified or minimalist, min, minimalistic living, right? I am getting rid of, you know, or I, yeah, I am, ch I'm choosing to get rid of things that I don't use, you know, I'm living, I'm only keeping things and holding on to things that I, that are important to me, that clear up my space and my mind, right? So think about different ways you can make those affirmations. If it's, you can even, you know, if you want, you could add one, you know, to even your fitness journey. Maybe you're struggling with your emotional eating. So think about it. I make, you know, I make choices to deal with my emotions in a healthy way today. You know, when I am feeling stressed, I take three deep breaths 
and walk around the block or something. I mean, decide what you need to do, but do something that way. And when you say those, and then think about if you get stressed and you say, I take three deep breaths, what are you going to do? When I used to teach, okay, when I asked a child to do something, I had them say, yes, ma'am, okay? And some people might think that's weird and old school, but because what happened? If they say, yes, ma'am, are they going to argue with me? No, they immediately go do it because you can't say, yes, ma'am, and then not do it. Like, it flows. So, um, you know, rather than having an argument with a kid about because they didn't want to do something, you know, it was, it was, you know, you know, if I need them to do something, yes, ma'am. And they would do it. And it solves so many problems. Because our words, think about that power of those words again, right? It determines where we're going. Um, I, towards the end of my junior career, I used affirmations with my kids. It radically started changing their behavior. The ones that struggled with behavior and stuff, you know, when they would get upset and frustrated when someone, you know, someone who maybe didn't have good social skills or really got frustrated with other kids. You know, if they had that affirmation of, when I get frustrated, I take a deep breath. Count to 10 and decide if it's something I need to talk about. Okay, all of a sudden, what that's going through their mind, it's automatically what they're going to do. So this is so powerful. So if you haven't done day one, make sure you do that before you do day two because you can't do day, these build upon one another. Okay, so make sure you do each one. Um, so day two today, get those affirmations. You're going to bring both days, okay, with you tomorrow. And we're going to build upon that, okay? So every day we build upon, these don't take long. They're powerful. They're worth it. So make sure that you take the time to really do these. Uh, make sure you download what I have, um, download the file for today. And as always, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you're, if you're joining me live, let me know you're here live so I could call you out. Um, if you get an opportunity to, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. And that way I can come back and answer them. I'm always happy to jump on, do a, li- do a Q&A at some point during the day and post that. That way I answer your questions before we get to tonight's. Um, so I hope you, um, if you haven't joined me live, make sure you let me know you're here. Um, let me know if you've tried affirmations before and how they work for you. If you're someone who's tried them before, have you had success or have you not? Was there an aha moment today? I would love to know your thoughts. Please go and, you know, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I love dialogue. I love to know what you're thinking and feeling. I like to answer those questions. If you have any you know, doubts, let me know because I can bring the science into it because I'm big on research and evidence. And so I'm not just going to give you fluff. I'm not going to give you anything that I do in my own life um, because that's ridiculous, right? Um, I'd say do something. I haven't tried it myself. That's crazy. Um, And as well, I have science and research behind it because I believe that you have to combine both of those. Um, And so now this is really setting us up to live a fit life. And when I say fit life, I mean, and mind and body and heart and soul and spirit. Like, we have to be fit all around. It's not just our nutrition. It's not just our fitness. If we're not fit in our mental, if we're not fit with how we deal with our emotions, if we don't have soul, if we don't have a bigger purpose, and we're not fit in that way and align with our true self, we're not gonna, never going to live that level of time. We're never going to be that person that we want to be. And, um, you know, we miss we miss the fact that we're holistic. And so, you know that I'm here for you. If there's any way I can serve you, there's always my information in the show notes. Um, as well, you can leave me a message, comment. Uh, I'll, I read everything myself and respond to it myself. And so, no, I'm here for you. I'm proud of you for doing this. Join me for day three tomorrow. Um, and remember, be brave, be kind, live authentically, and always shine. You're just one habit away. And remember, you are so worth this. Keep it up. Affirmation might take some time, but when you see the power of them, you will never turn back. And you have, if you have kids, get your kids on board. Um, if you do have kids, message me and email me. I have a whole affirmation guide for kids. And I will gladly email that to you for free. Okay? Because I have a complete guide to how to do your kids' affirmations with affirmations. You can teach them and how to come up, help write affirmations with your kids. Um, an incredible guide. I'd love to just give that to you. So... Let me know, email me, or um, message me here with your email, and I'll get it to you. All right, until next time, tribe, have an amazing evening or day, depending upon when you're watching this, and let me know you were here.